Hey guys, this is your boy Jamari Dufour here again. And I know I missed last week, y'all. I know I missed last week's review, but I had family to come in town and the whole place was kind of busy and it wasn't it wasn't a good recording environment. And they left on Sunday. Granted, I could have done it on Sunday, but the next episode was in like two days, so I was just like, eh, skip it. Moving on. So we're at episode seven, it's called Bottled Up and Beat Down. However, we don't actually get the beat down until the very last second, but I digress. The girls start off the episode by kind of separating into their individual, you know, their own cliques. You got one click here, which is team, I guess they call it Team Jennifer, with Jen, uh, Paula, and was it Stephanie? And on the other hand, you got Team, I believe it's Team Shannon, where you got Shannon, Rocky, Valentina, and who am I missing? Alicia. Is that right? <laughs> no, I didn't lie. So you got Team GN. They went to, I believe it's Loco, so whatever you call it. And basically, Paula and Stephanie are telling Jennifer that, you know, what you've done so far is childish, and, you know, you need to grow and mature from that. Because as y'all seen in previous episodes, Jennifer, for some reason, she started off one way, and for some reason, when she gets licked up, it's just like a 180-degree turn, and this bitch just goes crazy. So the other group, with uh, Shannon, Rocky, and Alicia, they're talking, and they're basically saying the same thing about Jennifer. Basically, like, this bitch is crazy. When she gets liquor in her system, she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know how to act. And after that, Alicia and... Well, not Alicia. Shannon and Rocky go out to a little outside eatery or whatever. So they're eating, having fun. All of a sudden, <laughs> they're visited by these... I guess it, initially it was two queens. One of, them had, one of them had their faces blurred out. But the one that actually spoke was like, Um, excuse me... Uh, first of all, I want those shoes in the mail, like, tomorrow. And second of all, you're hot. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Then all of a sudden they start doing, like, body shots and, uh, drop. They were pretty much acting like they were at a strip club outside in public. So after, Alicia goes out with her Nigerian queen, Valentina, and I just want to point out that during this, you know, small particular outing, they know, again, they're talking about Jennifer, and uh, Alicia made a comment that, you know, when Jen gets drunk, she, you know, looks and acts like a pit bull. Uh, Alicia, your whole this resembles... Gonna leave that alone. So it's early in the morning, and they, the girls hear a knock at the door. And one of the girls, I forget who, comes down, opens the door, and the guy comes in with a little package and envelopes, and basically, he's delivering the package, telling them that they're about to go to Savannah Beach. Now, Paula, <laughs> this is Paula. Oh my God, we're going to Savannah! Oh my God! Ah! The other girls were like, The fuck is Savannah? So the girls finally get to Savannah, and then um, once they actually see the house, then everybody decides to get excited. They're running, screaming, uh, looking, oh, this is cool, blah, 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 blah. So we pan off to Rocky and Shannon, who are at the, who claim the bedrooms that are all the way at the top of the house, and Shannon makes a comment saying that, you know, this is the place, this is the place where the queens reign. This is the top. This is where the queens belong. And the rest of the, uh, the bedrooms or the rest of the people are guests or guest bedrooms or some shit. I was like, ooh. All right. I'll tell you something about Shannon. Shannon has always been one to keep her shit together. The only time she's lost it was that one time dealing with Alicia and that whole uh, prank crap, the whole loyalty shit. When she started banging on the walls and the stripper poles and shit. That's the only time we've ever seen Shannon go off. But I'm waiting. And I, I know I'm waiting for that uh, Paula versus Shannon fight later on in the season. I'm waiting for that one. So the girls go out on the first night at Savannah. And they're approached by, I believe it was the owner or whomever the hell he was. He says, oh, we're going to put you girls on a scavenger hunt. We're going to separate you into two different teams. 
and the winning team, each member of their team is going to get $100 each. So, bitch, hey, everybody was excited. Shit, $100? Let's go. So, they had to check off various activities and I guess take pictures of them. And those activities included things like, what, motorboating strange women on the street and signing a mustache on somebody and give, give a lap dance to a stranger, get a hickey from a stranger. Now, see, that's where you can catch shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. You, you can't just be letting anybody bite into your skin like that. That's just nasty. Nasty. So, I believe one of the challenges had to be, like, do a cartwheel in the street or some shit. So... Rocky does it, you know, she does it, fine, looks good, whatever. Then Jen's ass comes up here. <sighs> Jennifer's cartwheel wasn't even, it had no wheels. It was just a cart running on the railings, bitch, because this bitch, bit, Jilly just bent over and stuck her leg in the air and got up and like, whoop. So Shannon team actually ended up winning the challenge, so each of the members of Team Shannon got $100. And so after they do that, the girls are back to drinking, back to drinking, back to drinking. And you see that the uh, producers show that um, Shannon and Rocky, neither of them are drinking. I believe at the end, uh, Shannon said she just had just one beer. They're trying to be sober just in case any shit goes down. So in the midst of all the binge drinking, uh, Alicia takes it upon herself to pull Shannon aside and say, you know, uh, I don't want to have beef with you, the whole uh, loyalty situation, you know, I want to squash things, you know, basically clear it, you know. And Shannon was like, you know, oh my god, thank you, I love you, hugs, kisses, mwah. But in a professional, she's like, bitch, I ain't stupid. I may sit here and act all lovey-dovey with you now, but one, you're drunk, and two, I'm just not gonna, I'm just not the one to forget some shit like that, so, I'm not really ready to accept your apology the way that you think I am. Now, a reoccurring uh, statement that's been throughout this episode is, you know, uh, both teams, I guess, more so Team Shannon, or more so the duo of Team Shannon, or between her and Rocky, they're saying that, oh, they're scared. The other girls are scared of them. They're the well, physically, they're the most physical and strongest of the house. And the other girls are scared and intimidated by them. However, on the other hand, Jennifer makes a statement that, you know, oh, those two girls are always by themselves trying to uh, outcast themselves. And they're afraid of, you know, associating with us because they're intimidated, blah, 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 blah. Let me, let me know in the comments, you guys, who do you think should be afraid of who? Personally, if you see bitches like Shannon and Rocky coming towards me, I'm going to make a 180 degree and run the opposite direction. So after the girls go kayaking, why, I don't know. Because it literally looked like they drifted out into the water 10 feet and came back. The producers didn't even make it look like they had to be fun. Like, they looked like they were just out there wading in the water. Wading in the water. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so after they do that, they come, They decide to go on the beach. And, you know, they're having fun. Splish and splash and blah, blah, blah. Jen makes a comment. You know, I'm I'm not in Rocky's face. She's not, Or she's not in my face, rather. Um, she's not in my face. I ain't gonna say nothing, so she ain't gonna get dealt with. And um, the girls... I believe Stephanie and someone else are burying Alicia in the sand. 